Once you've cut out your character and have them on separate layers, the next thing you'll want to do is setting up layer hierarchies and pretty much building the puppet. We're also going to be creating the left and as well as right sides of our character here. We've only drawn one side of this, but we can actually duplicate this. Now, if you're familiar with animating in the computer, you may also refer to this as rigging. But we're going to set this up so we can start animating with our character here. Now, one of the things I want to mention, especially if you're just starting out with Toon Boom Studio, if you have your drawing tools as well as your scene planning tools and your bone tools open, my suggestion, just to kind of keep yourself out of trouble, is to go ahead and close for right now your bone tools as well as the scene planning tools for setting up the initial hierarchy and pretty much duplicating your layers. We're only going to be using the drawing tools. So the first thing we want to do is start putting things in order. Looking at the way we have the setup, we've used a translucent blue to fill everything so you can see exactly how everything's hinged together. Now the arm, technically I want the arm in front of the torso and it looks like it's behind it right now. So we're going to go ahead and move that. I'm going to select all three layers, the bicep, forearm, and right hand, and I'm going to move that above the torso. Okay. And now it looks like it's where it should be. All right. Now, everything else looks pretty decent. Now, what I want to start doing is building our hierarchies. And to do that, we're going to scroll down here just to take a look at the arm. This is where we're going to start. As far as the parenting hierarchy, what we're going to be doing, we're going to have the hand connect to the forearm, and then the combination of the forearm and hand connect to the bicep. So how we're going to do this is in our timeline, if we look down here at our layers, I'm going to push upward, picking the right hand layer into the forearm layer until I see this little square icon there, and I'm going to let go of the mouse. And if you note now, the right hand is indented right under the forearm. So right now, if we select the forearm, if you notice the hand is also selected. The next thing we'll do is we'll select the forearm and we'll make the bicep parent of the forearm just by pushing up. And now this entire rig is set. So we have bicep, forearm, and right hand. And they're all together right now. Okay. We'll do the same for the foot. So the right foot, we're going to have the calf parent that. And then we'll select the calf and have the thigh parent that. So it's thigh, calf, foot. All right, I'm going to collapse this for now. And let's move everything down. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to move the head above the eyes. Now, this is going to get a little tricky, but we'll be adjusting this once we start looking at hiding patches and hinges. So I'm going to move the head above the eyes for right now. And I'll have the eyes and mouth both be child layers of the parent layer, which is the head. So I'm going to hold on my shift key, select both eyes and mouth, and move this directly under the head. And we have this set up right now. And if we look, the eyes are a little bit behind the main part of the head. But we'll adjust that once we start looking at adjusting our Z space. And we'll be taking a look at that in our Hiding Hinges movie. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to duplicate our arm here. So I'm going to open this up so we can see the right bicep, right forearm, and right hand. I'm going to select the hand, right click, and I want to duplicate this element. Now, I'm not cloning the element. The reason is if we cloned it, let's say if we cloned it, anything that we do to the right hand will also happen to the left hand. So if we placed a watch on the right hand, we'd also end up with a watch on the left hand. By duplicating it, we can alter one of these without affecting the other. So we'll simply say duplicate. And if you note, what happened after we duplicated that, it selected the very next layer up, which is the one we'll need. So we'll right click and we'll duplicate this as well. And so now it's moved up to the bicep. We'll right click and duplicate bicep. Now we'll scroll to the top. What we're going to do now is rename everything. Instead of right hand two, we'll call this left hand. 
forearm or just also. And let's go ahead and change the name of the bicep. Let's do L and let's get rid of that two on the end. Now, what we'll do here, make sure we go to our select tool and we'll click and drag to select the hand. And there are two different types of transform. There's element transform, which we're not gonna use. We're gonna to go to tools transform and we want to flip horizontal. What I'm gonna do next is, I'm just gonna use my keyboard, I'm gonna use my arrow keys and move this over, but if I hold on my shift key, it's going to move this over a lot quicker because instead of just one pixel, it's moving it 10 pixels at a time, okay? And so I'll go to the left forearm layer, click and drag to select. We'll transform this as well. And let's move this over. And last but not least, we'll do the bicep. All right, and I'm just going to make a few adjustments here. Make sure everything is lining up exactly the way I want it to be. All right, now we've got those set up, so we'll go ahead and set up our parenting. So the left hand to the left forearm, the left forearm, the left bicep. All right. And we'll go ahead and duplicate the right foot, right calf, right thigh. Change the names. So we have the left foot, left calf, and left thigh. Now with these, we're actually not flipping them. We're just gonna go ahead and move them over. So I'll click in my thigh, click and drag to select the thigh, and move this over a bit. Same with the calf, click and drag to select. And same with the foot. We'll set the foot as child of the calf and the calf as a child of the thigh. All right, so I'll collapse all of these. Now, for the most part, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom out here just to make sure we're in the right stacking order. The left thigh, where I'm gonna move this right below the left bicep, and the left bicep and left thigh are gonna go on the other side of the torso. So I'm gonna click and drag these both down to the other side of the torso. So now, when we look at this, we see the right foot in front, the right arm's in front, the left arm is kind of in the back. And to see this a little more in action, I'm gonna to go to our palette and look at our sky blue or our sketch blue here, double click, and I'm gonna bring up the opacity just so you can see how the character is stacked up. All right. And that is how we're setting up our hierarchy. So if your character does have some symmetry, remember you can just do one arm and one leg and then basically duplicate those layers. And we just did a horizontal flip and just place them where they needed to be. That way you're not redrawing if you don't need to.